Hi, I'm Patrick Harris with Cycle Sports TV, and we're coming to you from SEMA 2012 in Las Vegas, Nevada. In a second, we're going to head inside and see what kind of cool stuff we can find. All right, we're here with Guy Cohen from the Automoto to look at a very interesting vehicle. And it seems to be kind of a trend this year. We have a couple of these here, but an interesting high gas mileage trike. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, this is the Automoto. It's a three-wheel enclosed articulating trike. So when you ride this vehicle, you don't lose the feeling of riding a two-wheel vehicle, but you have the stability of the three wheels. And we incorporate a patented limited slip differential system in the back that puts power to both rear wheels. We're the only scooter company in the business that have this. So obviously outside of the uniqueness of the vehicle, because it is a little bit different approach than most, who's your market for something like this? So our target market's truly the people who want to go to work, back and forth, leave their car at home, um, you know, save money on gas every month and put their money in their pocket. And I noticed one of the one of the unique features here too is that it has a roof. And I'm assuming that's because if somebody might, maybe the decision is I don't want to get a scooter because I don't want to get wind and rain and everything else on me. But how much actual protection does this offer? This vehicle is the only scooter on the market that has a roof today. Um, when you ride this vehicle, you might get a little bit of water on your hands and maybe a little bit on your feet with the way it is right now. But if you put on the roof extender kit, which we sell, um, you wouldn't get wet. And I notice it even has a windshield wiper. So this is pretty much like a car almost as with, with outdoors. Exactly. It's, it's an articulating trike with the roof, windshield wiper, um, and it's open, yeah, open on the side. So you, you get the feeling of riding a motorcycle. So I think one of the big questions would be, now, it's a scooter, so am I going to be in the right-hand lane having people run over me at 25 miles an hour? No, it's certainly not. This is our own proprietary 150cc motor, puts out 50 miles an hour with 9 horsepower, so you're going to be zipping along and just fine in inner-city commuting. Okay, it's a trike with the wheels in the back. So how does it turn? This here is the locking lever that allows the vehicle to be articulated. When you release the lever, then this is when the vehicle can lean and articulate through the turns. But the rear wheels will stay flat on the ground the whole time, delivering power evenly to the rear wheels. When you lift the lever, this is when the vehicle is locked in place and when you park it, you can walk away. So if, I, if somebody's ridden a scooter before or ridden a motorcycle before, really it, how they ride it doesn't change. No, that doesn't change at all. The, the, the dynamics of riding a scooter is exactly the same with the added benefits of having the limited slip differential that gives you the power to both rear wheels, which makes it a lot safer when you're turning. So economy-wise, what do you expect? Normal driving, you're going back and forth to work. What do you get out of something like this? Well, the EPA testing was at 83 miles per gallon. Real world, you'll see around 70, 70 to 80 miles per gallon. Real world traffic with you know higher RPMs and, and the differences in, in your driving styles. And what's the fuel capacity on this? It's a two gallon tank um, which goes 80 miles per gallon give or take and you go about 150 160 miles on a tank. So really if you're commuting you're filling it up with two gallons once a week. Give or take depends or on how far you want to go right. <laughs> That's great. Now I also noticed there's there's actually a little bit of storage on this. Oh, this yeah, is not got... we have the largest trunk you'll find on any production scooter. It's a 17 by 17 by 17 inch trunk. And there's no other scooter that has a trunk this size. Now, is that lockable as well? Certainly. It's a lockable trunk. The door opens up. You can put two full-face helmets in here, plus your jacket and your gear. The Automoto comes with, a, with an FM stereo control panel here. It comes with two standard speakers that come stock on the vehicle. And it also comes with an MP3 jack in one of the two glove boxes. It also comes with an alarm, st standard, and... It, it has uh, your instrumentation cluster here, which comes with a uh, fuel gauge, a speedometer, and a voltage meter. What is somebody going to expect to pay for a unit like this street price? The retail MSRP on this with a two-year warranty is $3,800. So it's really in line with what a regular scooter, uh, a decent scooter would be at 150cc. Absolutely. I would agree with that. Uh, and we give a two-year warranty, whereas most companies give a one-year warranty on their scooters. All right, that's great. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Awesome.